do this well or not. But. So what you're saying is the only tall people can fly from the front seat? I, I don't know. You, if you buy the aircraft, the rudder pedals are set for the guy who buys it. If he buys it, he might as well put them where he wants them. They are adjustable? Then? I guess they just do well, it. They're adjustable before you cover, Dave. What you do is the, um, the, there's a trunnion in there, and you just pin it down with a bolt. A trunnion? Yeah, which is a cross sleeve. It's two, a sleeve that slides up and down the longeron with another tube in it, which has got the rudder shaft tube. So you can slide it up and down the longeron, put it where you want it, where you get it where you want, you through drill it, and there it is. Well, that, that, that had more than four letters in it, and you used more than two words with four letters in it, so I'm completely lost. I'm just the, a dumb old ultra pilot, ultra light pilot, Harold. On the longeron, you have a... a what, what is a longeron, Harold? I always thought a longeron was... was All right, well, with the, we'll go into Aviation 101. Okay. Let's, let's, talk, let's talk about this little airplane here, Harold. Very well. Okay. Now, this is not a Mini Max because a Mini Max is made out of wood, and this isn't made out of wood. No, it's made out of 4130. And this is not a uh, an Enduro or an air bike because they've only got one seat in it. That is correct. This has two seats. Indeed. Okay. So this is what? This is the Tandem air bike. And Tandem, of course, meaning front and back A bicycle seat. built for two. Uh, and if you let me get out, I do a little soft shoe with that. When did the, this, uh, the, or the actual design concept for a two-place uh, in the air bike uh, come about? Um, shortly after we brought the original model here three years ago, because people started berating us for not having two seats. So we started thinking about it. Got the single seat well underway in production and started modifying existing structures for a low budget entry into two seat. As you can see, there are places on this airframe where we've made some various and sundry cuts and had to re-weld and so on. But this is just the proof of concept aircraft. We have had a number of inputs from prospective customers who would like specific things changed for them, and since we build for customers, not for our own entertainment, there will be changes on this. Not very significant. What you see here is very close to the production airplane. Now, is it a dual control for from both the front and the back yes. seat? Yes. There is a side stick on the uh, for the rear. I come around the other side there, Harold, so I can yeah. get that. Oh yes, down here on the. Okay. Now, when you're flying it, you fly from the front or from the back? Either way, we've had people who want to fly in either position, and with some heavy folks, uh, we're going to have to move the wing forward a little bit to ensure that if you got a big guy, he can fly it from the front or for, from the back. Okay. And where's the throttle location then? The throttle is right here. Okay. There's a side throttle yeah, back I here. I see it moving back there in the corner. The double levers are individual wheel brakes. You can taxi it individually. And it's interesting, if you put the student up front, he has them, and the instructor probably will learn something. <laughs> now, what about the, the speed on this airplane? Now, we're using, what, a 447 or 503? No, 503 dual carb. 503 dual carb. So, we got, uh, we're well within the 496 pounds for your two-place so this, this is, with that big chute on it, Dave, and the wing tips and the wheel pants and the brakes and da-da-da-da-da, it went up from about two, uh, 385, we're sitting at about... 435 with this one, with it all dolled up. It doesn't have to be that heavy. Okay. Now, what kind of a performance are we getting out of it with the 503 then? And uh, oh, quite two good, people? especially uh, well with two people on it. It would probably perform like uh, oh a single place with a 377. You know, it's a uh, with two folks in it, your your uh, in-flight weight is going to be up considerably. We have a 500-pound useful load in this airplane at 4.4 minus two which is why we've got juries on it, because of the minus two. Yeah, I just, the jury stretch just out here. Right. Okay. Now, uh, when do you expect the first production airplane to be coming off the line then? By Oshkosh. We've got to go back and then make the necessary changes, and then do the drawings, and then do the parts pull 
for our production to get them into the kits. And building time-wise, do you feel that it's going to be about the same as what the air bike is now, or a little longer? Uh, Dave, it depends upon whether or not you buy pre-built options with it. If, let us say, you bought a basic kit to keep the overall cost down, I would have to say it's going to be about the same time as a Minimax, because it's a bigger wing and it's a bigger structure. And we're using a basic Minimax wing on it, then? Very similar. The ribs are identical which means the spars are the same height and width. But there is a considerable difference in the spars and in the compression and any drag members. And there are, of course, doublers in areas where you have juries. Plus, the wings attach at the bottom of the spar in this, and they don't in a Minimax, they attach at the top. So there are subtle differences. Uh, what else can I ask, Carol? I don't know. It's, uh, the, the control system is a very smooth system. It's similar to our standard air bike. Very light controls. We're we, using, uh, what, Teleflex or push-pull? Yes, Teleflex. Teleflex. Mm -hmm. the, we have full-span ailerons, but we also have full-span flapperons because a training airplane, we have a switch panel up here, and if you want flaps, you simply push the button, and the flaps go up, or the flaps go down. And, and, they, and you still have full aileron deflection at All full flap. Oh, and that is a lot of flap. It's a lot of flap. But it is a training aircraft, so they did decide to go with flaps. I'm, that is common in the certified aircraft business, and obviously we don't want to get perpendicular to the folks who make real airplanes. Now, as far as the airplane itself, it, it's coming as a basic kit, then what are yes. some of the options for it? The options will be the dress-up things, like the wheel pants, the wing tips. You can get a, a, a more sophisticated panel. Um, you can get um, different seating. The ballistic chute is an option. And for a training aircraft, that may very well be the something that's a, what would you call it, a, a preferred option. Um, let me see, what else? Electric start? Oh, the electric start is going to be an option. We do have an electric start on it. It works very nicely. Uh, we do have uh, electric elevator trim, same as the uh, flaps. If we can get a nice four-stroke on this, I think it'll appeal to a broader group of people who want to do training. Uh, I think that there still is a, a bias against the two strokes, even though, as you know, over the past several years, the reliability has gone up quite nicely. Hey, thank you very much for your time, Harold. Okay, Dave.